information now in the trial of the man who confessed to killing Aton Pates. With the prosecution and defense preparing the jury for a new, potentially bombshell video on Monday, CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports. Interrogation videos will keep coming in the trial of Pedro Hernandez, who's charged with killing six-year-old Aton Pates in 1979. Last week, jurors saw three hours of police questioning, including this moment when Hernandez confessed. I grabbed him by the neck, and I started to choke him. I, I was nervous. I was, my legs were jumping. I wanted to let go, but I just couldn't let go. I, it was like something, I felt like something just took over me. Today, police officers testified for the prosecution about other interrogations that took place off camera. It's leading up to next week's release of a police video that the defense says shows Hernandez at times getting chummy with detectives. Uh, he's a client who has issues. Defense attorney Harvey Fishbein says the Hernandez confession is a big lie. He says the previously unseen video, which runs half an hour long, will show the manipulation of a client he says has a low IQ and is easily swayed. Is the police officers having him in a corner, right up against him, rubbing his head, rubbing his shoulder, one saying, you have the strength of the Lord, Pedro, thank you, thank you. Prosecutors tell us they will not comment until after the trial is over. The defense plans to try and redirect the jury's attention to another man not in the courtroom. The Pates family won a civil wrongful death case against Ramos in April 2004. An informant who spent time in prison with Ramos may be called to testify. The previously unseen video is expected to be shown in court Monday. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Aton's father, Stan Pates, attends court every day. The boy's mother, Julie, testified one day, and that is the only appearance she has made.